We all know Gemini 3 is coming very soon, but OpenAI is not being left uh, with you talking about its old model. It has released GPT 5.1 this week with very low fanfare. It's done it kind of under the radar. Um, but the features that are showing here is that it's listened to its audience. When it released GPT-5, it got a lot of blowback that, you know, this new model, sure, it's a lot smarter, but it's it's not as friendly as we liked, and it, it's not speaking the way we like it to speak. So what they've done is they've implemented a lot of customization as to the tone of the AI. The other thing they've done is customized how long it takes to think about a particular topic. Because before, there was a sort of binary switch of either you get an instant answer that's relatively dumb or a thinking answer that takes ages. And sometimes you have a relatively hard question that you need to ask, and you want to be able to have it think for the appropriate amount of time. So they've done that as well. Some people are saying maybe they've just done that so that they can cheap out on the number of tokens that they use to do medium level answers. What are your thoughts on this, Eve? I think it's absolutely great to see these iterative responses rolling through with such um, awareness of how the, the last iteration was received. Like we really had the internet saying they felt like they lost a friend and that friend has been gained back with 5.1. So that's really sweet to see them taking that on board and responding so quickly. I think that these the quick rollouts we're seeing from AI, um, the quick rollouts we're seeing from OpenAI are definitely a sign of them going from a non-for-profit to a for-profit company. And, you know, there's lots of speculation about when this company is going to be listed to go public. And one of the um, traits of a listed company is, you know, you're seeing more iterations, more news coming out regularly with less fanfare, not wanting to spook investors, things like that. So I think that they're just going to keep pushing through these updates and we're going to get used to seeing a lot from them and having to decide for ourselves whether this is good or bad news. Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.